How's it going, guys? We have a two-year-old boy who has developmental delay, coarse facial features, joint contractures, laboratory studies show lysosomal enzymes elevated in the blood, which is almost like we see in this patient. Choice A, deficiency, glucose cerebrosidase, wrong fucking answer. Buildup of glucose cerebrosidase is gauche or gaucher, which is going to be lysomal storage disease, okay? Now, for USMLE, cutting through all the bullshit, if you get a big paragraph, no idea what's going on, but then they list a bunch of enzyme stuff, okay? And it's one of those lysomal storage disease questions. What you're going to do is if they say anything about a bone problem, okay, because gauche is a rare cause of avascular necrosis of the femoral head. So lysosomal storage disease plus bone problem equals gauche on USMLA. You don't have to worry about bullshit details such as crumpled tissue paper, macrophages, etc. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, deficiency of hexosaminidase A, buildup of GM2 gangliocide, Tay-Sachs disease, wrong fucking answer. Okay, causes a cherry red spot in the macula. And then deficiency of sphingo, and I'll talk about it more in a second, deficiency of sphingomyelinase, a buildup of sphingomyelin, human pick disease, wrong fucking answer. So both of these are lysosomal storage diseases that can both cause cherry red spot in the macula. And the way you differentiate them is hepatosplenomegaly. Hepatosplenomegaly is a long word. Neiman Pick disease is a longer disease name than Tay Sachs. So, Neiman Pick's disease, that's the one that has hepatosplenomegaly. Okay, so both of these can present with visual decline, neurocognitive degeneration in infants. Okay, so USMLE more just cares about the buildup products. It's not hard. Okay, they can just say, uh, give you five sentences, just say you got an infant who has visual decline, cognitive degeneration, and studies show a buildup of GM2 gangliocide. It's that simple, and the answer is just deficiency of hexosaminase A or tay -Sachs. Choices B and C, wrong fucking answers. Choice D, impaired ability to catabolize glycogen, wrong fucking answer. So I left the door open here for any number of glycogen storage diseases. Okay, we get a long discussion. Obviously, Von Geer can be going to be the highest one. So deficiency of glucose 6-phosphatase. It's going to be a sick kid who has lactic acidosis, hepatosplenomegaly, hypoglycemia. There's others, obviously. You've got deficiency of uh, lysosomal acid maltase, uh, alpha 1,4 glucosidase, deficiency Pompeii, heart problems, Cori syndrome type 3, okay, deficiency of alpha 1,6 glucosidase, just a more mild form of Von Gierke, no lactic acidosis. Type 4 doesn't exist in USMLA. Type 5, McCardle. Can be a teenager, young adult. So that's myophosphorylase or muscle glycogen phosphorylase deficiency. It's going to be severe cramping, rhabdo, with exercise such as wind sprinting or shoveling snow. Wrong fucking answer. Choice the impaired ability to phosphorylate the sixth position on Manos. Correct answer, eye cell disease. Now, it is to my observation across NBME questions for step one, that eye cell disease is the highest yield lysosomal storage disease on USMLA, and it tends to be underemphasized in resources. I harp on it. I inculcate it in my resources. Now, the confusing thing about eye cell disease is that even though it's technically a lysosomal storage disease, you can frequently see Golgi, holy shit, as the answer on questions, because the problem is at the Golgi. So at the Golgi apparatus, we have deficiency of an enzyme where we have failure to phosphorylate the 6 position of mannose. Mannose 6-phosphate is tagged to proteins, lysosomal proteins slash enzymes, to tag them, to deliver them to the lysosomes. So if we can't synthesize mannose 6-phosphate, the lysosomal enzymes, rather than getting sent to the lysosomes, they're sent out of the cell instead, and there's elevated lysosomal enzymes in the plasma. So they can tell you that patient just has, it's a very buzzy thing you got to look for. Okay, so coarse facial features, joint contractures, and then they can tell you that there's elevation of lysosomal enzymes in the blood. Okay, and then the problem is at the Golgi, but it's still a lysosomal storage disease because you can't traffic those lysosomal enzymes to the lysosomes. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.